the Indian defense industry has made great technological leaps as it can be built from cruise ships, aircraft, missiles, and now attack helicopters. One of their new products is the LCS attack helicopter. The LCS has been deployed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited since 2006 to develop a line of helicopters to meet Indian Air Force's requirement of a dedicated line helicopter for combat operations. This new helicopter will be equipped to both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. The type is also intended to be sold upon the export market. Since 2015, Har has been seeking other customers for the LC8. The cost per unit is estimated at $20.2 million. The impetus for the development of the LCS came in the form of the Kajil War, a conflict fraught between India and neighboring Pakistan in 1999 which revealed the Indian Armed Forces to lack a suitable armed rotorcraft capable of operating unrestricted in the higher altitude theater. Accordingly, both HAR and the Indian Armed Forces commenced explorative efforts towards the defining of a conceptual combat helicopter to perform this role. LC8, referred to simply as the light combat helicopter, was born in such a context. The first prototype made its first flight in 2010. By 2013, a total of four prototypes were built. During mid-2016, the LCS was recognized as having completed its performance trials, paving way for the certification of its basic configuration. In early 2019, Har announced that it had successfully conducted an air-to-air -air missile firing on a moving aerial target at a test range in Chandipur, Odisha. The recent test firing marks the official completion of weapons trials and the readiness for operational induction by the Indian Air Force and Indian Army of India's first indigenously built and designed helicopter gunship. The light combat helicopter is expected to enter service in the near future. Indian Army plans to acquire 114 of these helicopters and Indian Air Force 65 units. However, the exact time has not been set because the delay of domestic weapons projects is a chronic disease of this South Asian nation. The origin of LCS is from the hard drove multi purpose helicopter with many components similar to the engine or propeller to reduce production and maintenance costs. LCS has been developed to perform both the anti-infantry and anti-armor missions. In addition to these stores, the LCS is intended to be used for a variety of operational purposes, such as to perform air defense against slow-moving aerial targets, including both manned aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles participation in counter-insurgency operations and counter survey force operations, the destruction of enemy air defense operations and wider offensives used during urban warfare conditions, escort to special heliborn operations, support to combat search and rescue operations, and armed aerial scouting duties. The RC8 was designed with a narrow and angular fuselage to increase stealth, armor protection, and is equipped to conduct day and night combat operations. According to reports, the protective measures included in the rotorcraft include a digital camouflage system, an infrared surge pressure fitted to the engine exhaust, and an exterior covered by canted flat panels to minimize its radar cross-section. It is furnished with an integrated dynamic system, including a hingeless main rotor and bearing less tail rotor, which works in conjunction with an anti-resonance isolation system to dampen vibrations. The LCS has a glass cockpit accommodating two crew, pilot and co pilot in tandem configuration its flat glass panels in order to reduce light reflections. 
the cockpit's equipped with multiple function displays, target acquisition and destination systems, and a digital video recorder to capture footage of the battlefield for use in the briefing. A helmet-mounted target system controls the turret guns mounted on the helicopter's fuselage. The LCH is equipped with an integrated data link, which enables the tab to participate in network-centric operations by facilitating the transfer of mission data to other platforms, comprising both airborne and ground-based elements. The onboard sensor squid is orbit compass, produced locally by Barrett Electronics Limited. It consists of a CCD camera, a forward-looking infrared emission sensor, a laser range finder, and a laser designator to facilitate target acquisition under all weather conditions, including under nighttime conditions. Other technical features inherited by LC from hard drive include a crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, arrangement for better survivability, crash-worthy cell ceiling fuel tanks, armor protection, and a low visibility profile. The helicopter is powered by two Turbo Mecha Shatty Turbo Shot engines, each of which can generate up to 1384 shot horsepower. Main and tail rotor diameters are 13.3 meters and 2.05 meters, respectively. The LCH has a maximum speed of 269 km per hour, and ever exist speed is 330 km per hour. It can climb at a rate of 12 meters per second, and the service ceiling is 6,500 meters. The operating range of this helicopter is 550 km. Born as an attack helicopter, the LCH will be equipped with the most modern weapons that India can afford. It is armed with a chin-mounted twin-barrel M621 20mm cannon. Both gun and THL-20 turret were developed in France by Nexter. This attack helicopter has detectable step wings. It can carry various rockets. This includes 70mm rockets, MBDA-L2L, L2 surface and anti-radiation missiles, and Helila anti-tank guided missiles. Explosive ordnance includes iron bombs, cluster bombs, and granite notches. The combination with the helmet-mounted targeting systems makes it a dangerous squirrel machine, able to conduct day and night combat operations. The RC is protected via an extensive electronic warfare squid which is provided by the South African Division of Sap Group. This squid comprises various defensive elements to guard against several different threats. This includes a radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver, and a missile approach warning system. Only many advanced features, while the unit's price is only $20.2 million. Half as cheap as MI 20S costing $40 million. LCH has proved to be a serious competitor in the race to gain the position of a new general attack helicopter in the export market. However, LCH has not officially entered the mass production stage, where its drivers have experienced battlefield combat. In addition, the multinational origin of the aircraft's equipment is also detrimental to its use, as well as maintenance. Therefore, the opportunity of the LCS in the export market at the present time is still a question mark. My video of how a light combat helicopter ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.